Today I'm reviewing the new TPT golf shaft. That's, that's it there. Um, the first time I caught a glimpse of this shaft, it, obviously they're a new company to golf, was midway through last year. Justin Rose was playing a tournament in America. And I've got a picture, I'll, I'll attach it. I'll attach it now so you can see it for yourself. So I caught a glimpse of this shaft and um, I, immediately I thought, that looks, that, that, that looks a new one to me, I've never seen that before. So obviously I made a mental note of it. The next tournament I attended on the European tour was the Dunhill Lynx up at St Andrews. I was actually on the TaylorMade tour truck chatting to Adrian Ritbell, the TaylorMade manager. And as we were chatting I said to him, Adrian, what's his shaft? Justin Rose has recently been, been, been using them over in America. So he sort of smirked at me and said, it's a, yeah, it's a TPT shaft, it's the, the new to golf. They make a lot of things out of carbon fibre. Like they make carbon fibre body parts for Formula One teams, uh, watch casings for Richard Mille, they make America's Cup sailing yacht masks and all that sort of thing. They're, they're a really high end company. So he said, We've actually got a packet of them over there, I've got, do you want to take a look at them? So I said, Yeah, great. So I took some photographs while I was on the truck, which I'll I'll tag on now. So that was my first proper look at the TPT shafts. And they were getting sent over to a guy called Chris Trott in, in America, who looks after most of the tailor made marquee players. So, obviously Justin Rose went on to win three times it last year. And this is, this is the actual shaft he used to win those events. So 15 is an X-Flex. They, they go up to 19, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 15 is an X. Low kick point, low torque. Lightweight, it's a 63 gram X flex. This so that's the shaft. After posting via social media about obviously, this there's a new there's a new shaft on the scene and it's supposed to be brilliant. TPT contacted me and said, Do you want, do you want to try the shaft for yourself? So I said, Yeah, it'd be great. So they came over from Switzerland and we spent an afternoon on a, in a track man studio going through a fitting process for, for me. So, while Seb from TPT was preparing all the shafts with the sleeves to, to, fit, to fit onto my driver, I was in balls with my current shaft at the time, which was a Fuji Cora Fuji Pro 73 S-Flex. So, I hit 18 shots with this, with this shaft, which as a comparison is probably too many, but it did give us great averages to work with to get the ball rolling. So after hitting 18 shots with this. I'll attach a photograph of the actual data so you can see for yourself what the numbers are with, 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 with this shaft. I then started testing the TPT shaft. So I was, I think I tried about four or five out of the full repertoire of shafts. And funny enough, this one which Justin Rose used was actually one of the ones what I liked the best and was giving me the best numbers. It was this one and another one. I'll attach a photograph now of the numbers I was getting with this one so you can see the differences. As you can tell, the differences are massive. It's a massive leap forward in performance, but obviously whether this shaft was, was the ideal one for me in the first place, I don't know, but there's no getting around the fact that this was performing unbelievably well. I've never had anything, I've never had numbers in it anywhere near close to what I was getting with this one so I was absolutely blown away by it. The big performance differences were coming from the way the shaft felt as I was swinging. I felt like I knew where the club was all the way through my swing from start to finish which funnily enough it felt like I had like that extra split second through impact to sort of sort myself out and time it a lot better than what I was doing with my old shaft. Obviously, this shaft is a 70 gram shaft. This one is a 63 gram shaft. So I've gone lighter, but historically, when you go lighter in shafts, there's a tendency that they start to spin up. But this one, the spin was down. It's a low spin shaft, even though it's 63 grams. So I was gaining performance through club head speed because I've gone from a heavier shaft to a lighter shaft. Also, 
the shaft felt a lot more stable and I could feel what he was doing a lot more. I felt like, I even felt like I could, I could go after it a bit harder without losing control of the club. It sounds a bit odd, but it's it's just a, a, the feeling it gave me at the time. Now, I'll talk about stability and I'll attach a little clip, a little video clip of what how, how, how stable the shaft actually is, because it's quite difficult to sort of explain, but if you watch this little clip I'll attach now, you'll, you'll be able to see it for yourself. So as you can see, this, the shaft's got a lot going for it. Now, all these shafts are produced by robots. So they're built to virtually zero tolerance, which means every shaft you buy is identical to the next one. So if, so if I try the shaft, when I get one sent to me from the factory, under normal circumstances, there's no guarantee it's going to be exactly the same as this. There's always a bit of give and take through certain things. But, this, but these are right on the money. So what you what you try is what you buy so that's a massive plus um, I took it out on the course and straight away I felt like I had miles more confidence because with this, with this shaft, my old shaft and the way I drive the ball I always side with, with caution like which side of the fairway I'm aiming for where's my bailout but with this one I just felt more confident I could, my timing was better. I was actually aiming down the middle of the fairway for the first time in ages, rather than thinking right, left, left side, right side. Don't miss it here. Don't miss it there. Which get, you know, you can't buy confidence. It's. I just felt like a different animal. So, I was, I was majorly impressed. That was the biggest thing on the course that, that I could actually be more precise where I was aiming with it. I would advise that you get properly fit for one because there's that many different shafts in the repertoire. I mean, they start at 15. They go up to, which is an X, and they go up to 19, which is a regular. And obviously you've got low kick point, mid kick point, high kick point, low torque, medium torque, high torque. You've got lightweight, medium weight. I think, I'm not sure whether they do the heavy, but there's quite, a, there's quite a lot going on there. So obviously you need to get dialed in properly. And you'd be surprised what works and what doesn't work when you have a proper fitting. So all the authorised fitting sensors the TPT on their website so you can whichever area you live in or whichever country you're from look it up and the nearest one will be on the, on the website um, who's using it on saw obviously the biggest name using it at the minute is Jason Day he actually he's got this not this one but a, a, a variation of it I think is actually a 14.5 which is stiffer than X He's put it in his driver and his three wood. He used it to win the Farmers Insurance Open on the PGA Tour. And he used it when he finished second at Pebble Beach shortly after. So he's uh, he rate, rates it very highly. Um, other players, you've got Camilo Vijaygas, Jamie Lovemark, Ricky Barnes, VJ Singh and Danny Lee. Other notable players what have been testing it are Bern Wiesberger on the European Tour and Jordan Spieth. So big name players are, are testing it and putting it in place. So that tells you straight away he's getting a bit of a reputation as a good shaft on tour. Um, obviously the most controversial thing about this shaft is, has been the price. When it first came out um, mid to late last year it was $799. Now TPT have dropped the price a bit because they've said we don't want to exclude everybody from being able to use it we want as many shafts to be used by golfers of all levels so we'll reduce the price to $499 and that'll open more doors for people to use it so they, they, they're backing themselves in the market effectively by saying right if we drop the price we'll sell more so $499 is it worth it that's the big question yeah and I'll tell you why, in my opinion, it's worth it. There's a lot of shafts already on the market for around that figure. 
maybe not four hundred ninety nine dollars, but there's a lot of shafts around that figure, and I can't see another shaft doing more than what this can do. Now, another th another factor to consider in the price is if you used to buy, well, I'll use Callaway for an example, but it's not I'm not, I'm not having a dig at Callaway by any means, but if you had the Epic driver from last year, and you're thinking about buying the road driver for, for this year, and it's going to cost you about $499 to, 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 for a new one. Are you going to get more performance gains from buying a new driver, or are you going to get more performance gains from buying one of them? It's not even close, you're going to get more performance from buying one of these. The head will only give you so much. I mean, this year's head compared to last year's head, you might get one mile an hour club head speed, a couple of mile an hour ball speed. That's your lot. But obviously, you, you saw by the figures I was getting testing this, you're not going to get that from a, from a, from a different head because all heads are made to the same legal limits anyway. This is where this is where the performance is at. So I definitely recommend this shaft over a new driver. Um, I hope that answers all your questions. I mean, if, if I've missed something out, comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But fingers crossed, it's sort of. Put the shaft out there to people who didn't know much about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try and do a few more videos about different products what you, you wouldn't normally come across. And I'll see you next time.